Just need to get a quick heal in. Let's head this way, I believe. I mean, I think we need to go right now. I could be mistaken. No. Uh, can... Yeah, we, we can go up those waters, I believe. Ah, more pikes. Now, quick note about Tella. Really? His MP is... Stay, it will never rise. It is stuck there where it is. How much does he have? 90. It will stay at 90 forever. So don't try to level him up in order to... In order to give him more MP. It just doesn't work. And in that chest we got an iron ring. Which we're going to put onto, onto Tella. It increases his magic and... Yeah, his magic defense and his uh, regular physical defense. Let's move on then. Plus, he didn't have an item there anyway, so we need to head back. We have gotten all the treasure that we can get in this room, and we need to head to the left. Let's go that way there. I, I, I did see a door, so let's go through the door. What is up this way? We have B2F. A basement second floor we don't have much of a choice here so let's go up here and it looks like we're gonna have to get back into the water and it's high encounter rate or at least it was before it's not anymore apparently I see a treasure chest I want it right here just learned sleep after the last battle uh, sleep puts enemies to sleep just like you might imagine but it does cost a lot and it's not always effective, so I don't like using that very often. I don't think there are any, any new enemies, so I'll just cut everything out from now on. So let's go up these stairs here. Stairs, ladders, I'm not sure what they are, actually. Is there anything down here? Ah, there, there's a treasure chest up there instead, so let's grab that one, and then we can move on. Get an ether. Oh my gosh, that that is great at this point in the game. Even if I'm not going to be using it, I could sell it. But I have a feeling that I will be using the ether, so I'm going to hold on to that one. Let's head up, really, and I've run out of MP for Rydia, but luckily Tella has a ton left. And here we have a big S that stands for save. Let's take rest here. So we do have save points in this game. A special field here will protect us from monsters, and this is... You know, we can use our tent or cabin. I forgot about cabins in this game. Um, they, they do heal more HP and MP than a tent. And you can even save less rest now and be prepared for the coming battle in my tent. How big is your tent? It'll fit all three of us comfortably. And Radia passed out already. Fast asleep. She must have been very tired. You said she was a color of mist. She seems very gifted as a magic user. With proper training, she will be able to wield the magic other than calling monsters. <sighs> Just bad translations. <laughs> She'll be able to learn white and black magic, which she already does. How sweet, just like Anna's childhood. Anna is your only daughter. She ran away to Damsian with a bard because I did not consent to their marriage. Isn't the bard the prince? Is there another bard? What do you want to go to Damsian for? My friend is suffering from a terrible fever in Kaipo. So you need the sand ruby. So you too are in a hurry. What is the monster of this cavern? It's a horrifying monster with eight huge tentacles. We must defeat it first to save Anna and your friend. Let's go! And we have been fully healed. Uh, yeah, I, I gained a few levels for Radio along the way. But I'm going to take this opportunity to save as well. With that done, let's move on. And here... Oh, there's another treasure chest with an ice rod. Now let's try to equip that on Tella. It should be better than the regular staff can't really tell until you equip it. Yeah, definitely better. By one. <laughs> but it does use ice, which the frogs around here are weak to. So let's head down and over to the right, and it looks like we have found our way through this giant room. And 
here on B3F, the third floor of the basement, we find new enemies. These are jellies. Now, if I remember right, jellies are weak uh, against fire? Could be ice, though. I can't remember in this game if it's you have to match the color of the jellies or you have to go the opposite of the jellies. Looks like it's the same as the jelly, so let's try fire. Oh, damn, do they hit hard. Of course, they are strong against physical attacks. Yeah, I definitely have to go with, uh... They're weak to, to whatever color they are. You get 140 gil and 186 experience, no level up. They do get a cure one out of that, that's awesome. Let's head down here. You grab these two treasure chests. You can't hide these from me. 200 gil and another cure one. Awesome. Let's head back the way that we came. And we can go up here to fight tiny mages and water hags. Luckily, I do get the first strike. I do not like the look of those tiny mages. Let's cast lightning on everybody. Uh, in case hers doesn't... Yeah, hers didn't kill anybody. Oh, psych! That looks like it drained MP. You bastard! How dare you drain MP? I thought that was, like, psych up. But I was wrong. It's Osmos! <laughs> the way I remember it. How dare you! How dare you, sir! Hold! No! Damn it, he's paralyzed! Do I have... Damn it, I don't have much left. Uh, just go for an, an attack. Because that's the strongest thing against them. And of course, Teller won't get his turn. Don't. Apparently, you wanted to use hold on somebody that was. I don't know, he probably tried to use on Teller again. Not always the smartest, these tiny mages. I do not like them. No, 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 no. Damn it. It's up to you, Rydia. Oh, she finished the job. Nicely done. You get 360 gil, 360 experience, and a level up. Oh, and she learns Venom, which does poison. Awesome. Tiny Mages, not a big fan. And Psych is Osmos, and so at least we know that now. We're back up on the second floor. Huh, oh, something is differently colored over there. Do you see the blue stuff here? That is a secret passage. They show you where they are in this game, which is always appreciated. Let's go down here and get myself that cure one. Let's continue on. You can get in fights in the secret passages. Uh, I've never been a fan of that. Should be, like, separate, you know? So here we get a leather helmet that I will equip. Oh, I want to put that on. I think I want to put that on Tella. To be honest with you. Yeah, let's, let's put it there. Really? And here we can find zombies. I swore I thought we were done here. Now zombies, as they've told us many times before, they are weak to cure, and they are weak to fire. At least this game told us that undead enemies are weak to that kind of stuff. In other games, they, they just assume you know. So that's enough to take out three of them. So I'll well finish him off. Oh. Fine. Cure him. Cure him to death. Down he goes. Yeah, that's definitely enough. Down go the zombies. You get 140 gil, 160 experience. I don't know if it'll level up, though. Thought that would be enough. Alright, so we need to head back through the little secret passage here. And up these stairs here to the watery pass north. Path. No, watery pass north. I keep on wanting to call it a path. All right, let's head down here. I see those treasure chests. You can't hide those from me. In these treasure chests, we can find another ether. Awesome. Let's head over to the other chest there. And there we can find another ether. Awesome. Like I said, those are pretty much invaluable, which is why they're so expensive. <laughs> what was it? It was like tens of thousands of gil. Damn, do I hate tiny mages. Alright, so let's head down here. 
down here we can find a heal and a darkness sword which we will equip on Cecil immediately. Look at that, it's up by 10 from where it was. Just so much, so much better. With those treasure chests gotten, we can leave, finally. We can go out from here. The monster is in the cave beyond there. We should camp to regain our strength out there, which I definitely need to do because both my characters are out of MP, so let me use a tent. All healed and saved. Let's move on to the new cave. What do we have? Waterfalls. It's down here. What? Really? We're just going to randomly jump down waterfalls? That's what you had in mind? Okay. Let's let's make our way through here then. And take on a new enemy. We do have an alligator here. Uh, he's, he's paired with these pikes. Now the alligator is not weak to lightning, even though it's in the water. It is weak to ice. As you can see. There. Really, really weak to ice. So use that. <laughs> Do not use lightning on it. it. It doesn't do nearly as much damage. You get 165 gil and 160 experience for that fight, and a level up for Cecil. Always appreciated. Let's keep going. Now, I swore there were, there were a couple treasure chests here. There they are. I swear there are more, though. 